to even think that there was a time where it wasn't crackheads because crackhead crack has been around for a long time so like to think that's like dinosaurs to think like it was a time where everybody was just chilling everybody was doing coke but they was they was cooling they was you know cooling with their coke it is look at my mama <laughs> Shitting on them then, shitting on them now, uh, let it be known. And these people was literally doing the most. Do people want to see this? You know what I'm saying? Like, do people do people actually want to, would people actually tune in to see me? And I'm like, I'm a pretty cool person. Like, everybody that know me like me. I'm just saying it. I'm just saying, you know, I might have one or two people that like, uh, uh, uh. All you gotta do is say All you gotta and now it's giving Keisha from Bali. More like a sister soldier, Keisha from Bali, but Bali nonetheless. Hey y'all. Hey, so hey y'all, so I thought I was gonna go to bed, but um, Grand Parents Day is coming up and tomorrow's the last day for the slips to go in. So I have to fill this slip out real quick for my babe. Um, Y'all, how about I been watching Snowfall? Snowfall got me in a chokehold. I'm really, really late to the game. I'm really, really late to the game. It was so sad just to see like the demise of people in general but specifically our people just to see like the demise of them within their community so rapidly it was crazy and see what it looked like to me what it seemed like to me was everybody thought everybody was doing cocaine apparently it was like everybody was doing cocaine that was a thing to do but i feel like they thought that that crack was gonna be like the cocaine like people was doing cocaine and they was just chilled out but that crack Oh, that crack is whack. That crack, that crack do something different. So I really feel like initially they they didn't know what it was, of course, but I think that they thought that it was gonna be like another cocaine. And just to see them get hooked so fast and just to see like how the whole everything went down and all different communities, because it went around different communities and stuff like that. And just to see like the demise of everybody, I'm like, dang, so it was a time where Everybody was really just chilling and then crack came along and literally like cracked everything up. It was so, um, it was sad. It's sad to watch. So I'm watching it and I'm in the fourth season now and I'm like, Franklin don't want to do this no more. He don't want to do this no more. And I know anybody who is in that lifestyle, once you get to a certain point, it's like, I don't want to do this no more. It's dangerous. It wasn't that thrilling, you know, the thrill that he got in the beginning. It's like people is gonna kill every day. I gotta kill people every day. So it's like it's a totally kind of different vibe now. And I feel so I feel bad for everybody involved, but specifically the uh people that got caught on to the to the to the crack. It was crazy. It was absolutely crazy. And I was just like to even think that there was a time where it wasn't crackheads because crack, crack has been around for a long time. So like to think that's like dinosaurs to think like it was a time where everybody was just chilling. Everybody was doing coke, but they was they was cooling. They was, you know, cooling with their coke. Um, and then crack came along and these people was literally doing the most, doing the most within they within they um own community they was they was doing the most and that is what bothered me the most about the show aside from like the premise of the show like i'm not done with it but it was just like to actually see that people was thriving it, it was given 12 years of slaves uh, 12 years of slave it was like everybody was chilling and then crack came along and literally like cracked up everything it was real real sad it was real real sad i was like this too much i be sad i be sad watching it it's still um i'm still watching it though because <laughs> it's good as shit but it's just like dang why i have to be like that
y'all i'm at lowe's don't ask me how i got to lowe's just know that i'm here so lowe's got all of their christmas stuff out you know but y'all know what i came here for i came for the clearance plant section look at this high ass christmas tree ridiculous so i'm like okay let me go get some clearance plants see what they clearance plants hitting on because as y'all know lowe's is my favorite place to go for clearance plants when i tell y'all y'all gonna see this piss poor ass selection of clearance plants that they had i couldn't even believe it as soon as i turned the corner i was just flabbergasted i couldn't i couldn't even i couldn't even hold the damn phone straight couldn't even have hold the damn camera straight as soon as i saw this shit. look at this all these damn palms okay i guess but then look at this what the hell is this? Normally Lowe's has some really, really nice plants. I was very disappointed in this uh, clearance plant section. But luckily they did have some cute stuff that I could look at on my way to the goddamn door because I was I was ready to go. Every time I come to a store that has holiday stuff, especially Lowe's, I just like to look at the stuff like, who the fuck is really paying all of this money for some of this shit? These are some high ass Christmas trees. My grandmama had an artificial Christmas tree and I know good and goddamn well, she did not pay this amount of money for her Christmas tree. I don't give a damn if the lights do come with it. Lights is like 12 damn dollars. You can buy your own damn lights. It's ridiculous. 3.98 for a goddamn tree, that's crazy. I always be wondering like how you had this type of like Christmas spirit to be like how these big ass ornaments and stuff or any kind of holiday spirits how like decorate your outside and stuff like that. I don't know. In my mind, I feel like I can be that person, but it don't translate to the real world. But these were very, very pretty in the daytime, so I know they're going to be beautiful at night. smack about it it does have a little bit of a sample when i tell you it's really nice i really really like it and so what i found myself doing is every night i just be moisturizing these feet you know keeping the feet moisturized so i really really like this moisturizer I, every couple of videos every couple of videos i get into this phase of like am i doing the right thing is this the right content that I want to be posting? Is this something that is going to have longevity as far as me wanting to continue to do it? So it's like, I'll do a sit down chit chat, but I don't want all my videos to be a sit down chit chat. I like um, posting on social media. I like posting on YouTube. I ain't, I'm not really on no other social media ones. I ain't even gonna lie. I'm just trying to, I'm feeling like I'm like in a funk and then what's so crazy is I'll be watching other people's YouTube videos and then they're, they're talking about how like they're in a the funk as well. So I'm like, is this something going on with the universe? I don't know, but it's just something where I'm like, okay, what, what else could I do? But I just be feeling like I'm like, this, is this a sign that I'm supposed to pivot? I try to pay attention to when the universe has kind of like directed me to pivot into other things or try different avenues and things like that. But then again, I feel like the universe is just like, whatever you do, we're going to be behind you, we're going to back you 100%. But you just got to know that this is something that you want to do. Like, I'm a pretty cool person. Like, everybody that know me like me. I'm just saying it. I'm just saying, you know, I might have one or two people that like, uh, uh, uh. Like, I don't know what I fit into. I'm not a makeup girly. I'm not a, um... 
like dressy dressy up girly i'm not like that i can but i don't most of the times so i'm pretty lax i'm my worst critic because every time i think about doing something i'll be like nah but other people did it yeah, but other people did a whole lot of shit other people probably did all the shit that i want to do that don't mean that you can't do it because you're going to do it in a different way because it's you and so i just i don't know i'll be back and forth in my mind but i'm gonna get it together i am i am anywho what we finna do i'm finna hang these pictures I don't know if we're gonna hang these pictures. We might hang these pictures. I wanna hang these pictures. I'm up. I have some pie. And I think that made me kinda hyper. And I do, I do wanna hang these pictures. Do I got my stud finder? I do got my stud finder. Come, let's hang these pictures. pictures up and then I felt like they was too high so then I tried to lower them and then I didn't like the position that they was in and then that was giving me some issues and I just put like three extra holes in the wall but I got the little white stuff with a little pink stuff that I'm gonna put over it just to end up putting the picture back at the level that it was at because I know that I'm gonna get something tall that's gonna meet it so I said you know what it's time to take a break so uh, mother nature is around that's the only reason why I want some juice so I'm gonna drink this even one of these I made a cheesecake sweet potato pie I'm finna be <laughs> prepare for me to be sick because I don't want to be sick but I'm gonna eat it anyway because I want it and that's what we're doing today you know I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat it and then it's gonna eat me the hell up so it is what it is I'll be back to trying a little bit hey y'all it's 1 11 a.m I know that's right um I just got done putting up all of the um Thanksgiving food so glad that's over with I wanted to go ahead and reframe these portraits that were drawn of me and my mom way 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 back when we took a trip for the summer to Canada so the frames that I'm using are these same Walmart frames but instead of being in a 12 point a 12 by 16 like the frames that I put up before they're a 12 by 18 because they didn't quite fit in so I knew that it just needed to be like a little bit more up like a little larger so I have an idea of a mural, but I really don't know how it's going to come together. So I, I'm putting it together in my mind and then I'm going to come and put it together with you guys. Yeah, so why the hell I get these 12 by 18 frames? Because the 12 by 16, I should have just folded the damn picture down and it would have fit perfect. Look at this. Look at this gap up here and the gap down here. But when I tell you I'm not taking these fucking frames back, I'm not taking these fucking frames back. So I'm going to figure out what to put behind here even if i had to like i don't want to fold none of this look at my mama <laughs> shitting on them then shitting on them now uh let it be known so i'm gonna figure out what to do up here i guess this is gonna be my decorating mine's gonna get to going because i'm gonna figure out something because i'm not taking these damn frames back they both like it y'all look at this shit both of them i'm upset but it is what it is. I swear, this shit will be happening on my damn cycle. Hey y'all, so I sat up all night trying to figure out what to do with those frames or the pictures rather. Because at first I thought I was gonna uh, find some like mats for them, but then they was kind of pricey. And I was like, you know what, I'll do a DIY mat. But what I ended up doing was just folding the sides. I ain't show myself folding the sides, but I pretty much just folded the sides of the picture and put it in there so it kind of looked like it got a black frame but it really don't it's just sitting on top of the blackboard so i figured it out now i just got to bring the whole look together with all of the pieces that i want to go with these um, portraits <laughs> 